Oh boy. You know, we discussed before about the CW. And uh, we said that um, certain things have been put on hold until the sale of the network. I know we next star is the main company that is in the bid for to buy this troubling network. And I call it troubling. And I, you know, people saying, well, why do you call it troubling? It's got some good shows. So no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't at all. Because you have scripted shows that are not working out that are very low rated and continue to drop now deadline just reported just recently and i already had said this and i knew that uh flash was being as uh, superman and lois but we got some more renewals and and others that haven't been uh, cw renews uh seven series the flash kung fu all-American, Nancy Drew, Superman and Lois, Walker, and Riverdale. And I'll read a little bit into this as well. This is off a of deadline. The CW has handed down early renewals of a large portion of its scripted schedule, including Flash. Uh, the network has also renewed All-American, The Flash, you know, Kung Fu, Nancy Drew, Riverdale, Superman, and Walker. Tra traditionally, the youth skewing network hands out early renewals sometimes, which that is true, as early as January to the majority of its slat, a boom for the CBS and Wa uh, Warner Brother owners. However, this year, the broadcaster's future is up in the air with local affiliate group Nexstar circling. And Deadline understands that the new majority owner likely would have say in some of the renewal decisions. And I hope they cancel a lot of these. I hope if Next Star takes over, cancel most of these shows. The network also needs to take into account elements such as streaming rights to the shows and other variables that will determine a pickup. That's also very true. The renewal of the flagship series Flash for a ninth season, making the network's longest running Arrowverse series, taking over the mantle from Arrow, which ended after eight seasons. Paved earlier this year with news that Grant Gustin was in talks for a new deal. There was no word from CW yet whether the season nine will be uh, the Flash's swan song, uh, which most likely it probably will be the way it's sounding. Some other renewals that were given was All-American expected uh, for season five. Superman and Lois, Walker were good for third season. Riverdale is also expected to return for its seventh season, but similarly there is no word yet uh, whether this will be its final season, which it should. Which it should, because, you know, when you look at the, um, when you look at the ratings for Riverdale in the last, I mean, we're into the sixth episode on there. And I'll tell you this, I'll tell you this, the, de the key demo is at 0 0.05, down another 16% which is bringing the viewer change down to 0 0.230. That is garbage. How do you renew a show that has a 200,000 viewer rating? Really, explain that. Explain that. They said, well, it might do well on, on streaming. Then sell it to streaming. Because people are not watching this show. How is this show getting sponsorship? Really, truly, how is it getting sponsorship? I mean, this is total insanity. Because you, you're looking at the way these ratings look. And you look at the networks. Where basically they are... How can we say on there? They're still in the millions. Even during the pandemic, they were still showing in the millions. And there were some shows that were doing better than others. Kung Fu only launched its second season early this month, but now is coming back for a third season. Nancy Drew, however, was thought to be slightly on more on the bubble and will return for a fourth season. That comes off as, as a spinoff. Tom Swift also has to be launched on the network itself. You know, and, there, and looking at Kung Fu's ratings, three episodes in... They're jumping around all over the place. They're between about 400,000 to 600,000. You know, episode one, you had about 627. 
then you drop to 469 and then you're back up to 633 so you have a major fluctuation and the thing is it uh the ratings that i got hasn't been uh, adjusted yet so that might either go up a little bit or down a little bit now nancy drew's ratings uh we're up to season four i think it is uh let me look at this up no it's three let me say here we'll just look it up but just a quick moment and i can't spell <laughs> as we're talking here um let's see nancy drew is down to 0 0.349 and that's about a 0, 0 0.5 similar to riverdale as well i mean you hardly have anybody watching these shows you you barely have people watching these shows and the storylines are ridiculous on there you know they just can't really get these shows going really because of the writing you know this is the politics the intersection the diver the diversity hires and all that there are two other tr trances of the shows in the network still have made no re uh renewals dep uh, decisions on and expected to come over next month ahead of upfront the may because you have the uh may um showcase where most networks are showing off what uh, they expected for the new season on there. Uh, 4400, which launched in October. Naomi, which premiered in January. Uh, All American Homecoming, which started last month. We're hoping for a second seasons. I don't expect it. If the if 4400 and Naomi get second seasons, that would be incredibly stupid. Their 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 ratings are in the toilet, just in the fir first season out, and they're going to stay in the toilet the second season. There's also questions marks the future of Legends of Tomorrow. Another show that should be canceled, which is in its seventh season. Dynasty, I can't still believe Dynasty is still around. Uh, with season fifth, Charms and Legacies, which are in their fourth season. And Batwoman, which is in its third. You know, most of these shows that should be canceled. Stargirl, the third, it, third season, and in its dark fourth season, yet to premiere. Uh, if Stargirl stays okay for the uh, next season, it should stay. But there's still a question mark on it. Roswell was picked up for a fourth season ahead of its third. Uh, the scripted renewals of Batch of Unscripted, including Penn and Teller's Masters of Illusion, which are both returning for their ninth season. World's Funny Animals, which is heading to season three. Those are okay. Penn and Teller's Fool Us and Masters of Illusion, that's good shows. Uh, World's Funniest Animals, is uh, enough of that online. We don't need another show like that. Which their ratings in the, is in the same position as everybody else. You know, the, these are these are shows that some of them started out real good, good concepts, and they just allowed um, the writers' room to take over to the point where polit politics and inexperienced people are in those writers' rooms putting out just crap, pure crap. Mark Petowitz, chairman and CEO of the CW Network, said as we prepared for the 20 to 23 season, the scripted series along with alternative series we renewed earlier will serve as a part of a sol solid foundation utilizing some of, the mo of our most watched series for us to build on the next year and beyond. These dramas are also important to our overall digital strategy as they are some of our most stream and socially engaged programming and we look forward to it to adding more new and returning series to help strengthen and expand our multi-platform footprint. The only way I th some of these shows are doing good, and I know s most of them are not doing good overseas, is basically that they, they're selling it to these, to places like Netflix and all that, and they're making their money off of that. But you have to understand, like for example, uh, Star Trek, uh, Netflix dropped Star Trek. They were, they were not getting any viewership out of it. And they knew that for a fact. It wasn't working for them well overseas. You know, same thing with Amazon. Amazon, you know, they in the same situation with them. You know, and, and you know, the crazy is they're, they're about to unravel the Winchester series, uh, the um, Supernatural, which they're creating the uh, Winchesters, 
which is basically uh, John and the story on John and Mary. But the way they're explaining it is to the point where it doesn't match to what the episodes on Supernatural did because they already they already engaged this story on how they met and you know all, all this situation on there with time travel. You know, Dean went back in time on there, and then you know you know about the father's side of the family that is being you know uh, that. Uh, that the male half of the family is uh, men, men of letters. We already know, you know, to those situations. We've gone over it. I said a long time ago, they should have made a um, men of letters series. That's what they should have done. Nothing to do with Supernatural. They could have gone a different direction with this. And uh, they could have had themselves a good show.